guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i could give you guys some short books recommendations if you are you know not in the biggest reading mood and you just want still want to read these are some perfect books to pick up because they are short that's the reason i have a few different books here different genres that i could find on my shelf that are really really short and perfect to pick up or maybe it's you know you have your reading goal for the month and you want some quick short books to get your goals in here are some short books recommendations the first book i want to recommend is paperweight by meg haston so this is a huge huge trigger warning for eating disorders anorexia calories numbers everything like that just be aware of that before you pick this one up it's a really really short book and it follows this girl who is being to become an impatient at this eating disorder treatment center in New Mexico. And as every one of these books with when we handle mental illness, it is really difficult to read at times, but if you're interested in the subject like I am, if you're really interested in it and you want to really know what it's like in someone's head when they're dealing with stuff like this, this is a really good and interesting one, I would say. We really follow this girl's thoughts and feelings as she's, of course, having such a hard time to dealing with this because if you are in a really bad eating disorder you are not going to realize that you need help you're not going to think it's as bad as it is so this girl can't understand why she's being an impatient in this treatment center and it's really really interested in a heart felt book about this girl trying to fight for her life it's definitely hard and definitely definitely a lot of trigger warnings but if you're interested i would definitely recommend this book Next book I have on this list is called Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate. I've never read anything by this author and I'm not sure why I picked it up. I think I really fell in love with the cover. I bought it online so I didn't see how short it actually was because I usually don't read how many pages it is. But when it arrived, I was surprised at how short it was. It's a really, really tiny short book. This is a really unique book. I fell in love with the story after I read it and it's such a unique concept and from a very unique perspective. Basically, you follow this wish tree that is very very old has been there forever and what's cool about it is that you follow from the tree's perspective so all over the world people come to this tree to make a wish to talk about their hopes and their dreams and their passion to this wish tree and this book is set from the wish tree's perspective so you follow the life and the world from this tree's perspective because trees are alive trees are alive and i think we forget that and this book really really captured a lot of feelings and it's just such a cool unique concept of a book and i definitely recommend it it's a really short easy one of obviously it was so magical and beautiful to read about this tree and and how the tree feels and how the tree is it's just i can't talk enough about this book it was such a magical and heartfelt book next book i'm going to talk about is city of ghosts by victoria schwab victoria schwab is obviously a huge author and, and this is the first book in her middle grade series i've actually only read this book i know there's two more out there i think and i really want to continue on with the series it's a really really short book first book in the middle grade series where we follow cass cass is a girl who a while back she almost drowned she was really close to drowning and ever since that she has been able to cross the veil to enter the land of the dead and her best friend is a ghost so she can see ghosts she can talk to ghosts and when her parents get this really cool opportunity to do this tv series to explore a really haunted castle in edinburgh she gets to follow along and there we follow her on her adventures at this haunted castle where you have ghosts, where you have magical things. I just think it's a very cute but also a little bit dark and, and scary book. It's a middle grade as I've mentioned but it's a really really good one and a really really short one. So if you want something quick and cute and magical with ghosts, definitely recommend this one. The next book I want to recommend is King and the Dragonflies by Case and Calendar. This I read I think last spring or was it two years ago I can't remember but I read it in the springtime and it was just a perfect book I loved it so so much it was definitely a heartfelt and a little bit difficult book to read at times but so so beautiful and of course it's a really really short one in here we follow this guy a boy who calls himself King and King's brother just recently passed away when he was really really young and obviously death is really really hard to cope with we all cope with death in different way we all grieve in our own different way i actually am really passionate about that topic i am so interested in, in people's minds and people how we take things differently you know 
when we're happy we're gonna act different when i'm happy for example i'm not the person who jumps ups and down like i have a hard time showing when i'm happy i could be really happy and you won't even see it and at the same time with sadness some people really want to be alone when they're sad some people want to be surrounded with people when they're sad it's just so interesting and so different we all handle grief different it's 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 you know that's how it is and king is obviously and his entire family is obviously handling khalid's death differently and king truly believes that his brother has turned into a dragonfly so wherever he goes he searched for dragonflies and when he whenever he finds one he thinks it's his brother and it's such a beautiful heartfelt story about this boy who is coping with grief in his own way and you can interpret it however you want if if he's really turning into a dragonfly or if it's his way of coping with death so definitely a book that makes you think a lot and that makes you really appreciate what you have and it's just a really beautiful and heartfelt story i i definitely recommend it next books i want to recommend is actually a series and i read the first three books i haven't read the rest of the series yet but i really want to and that is the we're Root children series by sean mcquire and as you can see they're really really short books all of them are so the first book is Every Heart A Doorway, super super short, everyone is really really short. But basically what we have in this series is a really whimsical, magical, but also a little bit creepy and fantastical story about these children. And these children have all entered doors, doorways to other dimensions, other lands. I'm actually having a hard time explaining what this is about. I know I've, I mentioned this before, I think that I've had a hard time explaining what these are about because I can't seem to explain but these kids have all entered a different world by entering a doorway and and then they have gone back and once they got back they're all different the kids are different and all they want is to go back to this world so these kids are together at this home for children like this and all they want to do is find a door to this other world and of course parents adults won't really believe them but that's what's actually happening that was such a vague description i'm so so sorry but it's a really whimsical magical but also creepy story that i'm actually so interested to reread it's been ages since i read it so i'm not going to continue on with the series without rereading these ones so that might be something that i'm going to do in a 24 hour readathon because obviously they're so short it's going to be really quick so um but yeah i definitely recommend these books if you're looking for something quick and the last book I'm gonna recommend that's really really short I know I've talked about a lot on this channel but I wanted to include it in here because it's a really short book and that is Flipped by Vendelin van Dranen this is a super super short story but definitely worth the read we follow Juliana and Bryce when they're little kids Juliana's family moves into Bryce's neighborhood and Juliana is immediately captured by Bryce and wants to go after him play with him kiss him you know they're little children and then you follow these two as they grow up you know when they're kids and they're teenagers and just everything that happens between that so juliana has always had this little crush on bryce but bryce has never been interested because juliana is not the popular girl she's not have any friends she's just people think she's weird so of course he thinks she's weird because as a teenage boy i guess you just you know we all know how it is but slowly but surely bryce is starting to realize what a beautiful human being juliana is and is starting to stand up for her with his friends when they're saying mean things about her and he's starting to realize what a beautiful and inspiring human being she is and when he realized that it's too late because juliana has moved on you follow them as they fight for each other and how they love bloom for each other and this is also a movie which i mentioned a thousand times and on my channel i absolutely recommend i actually watched the movie first and then read the book and i do think the movie is better but if you're looking for a short book it's such a beautiful and, and quick one like i really really recommend it Ugh, please go read it and then watch the movie the movie is beautiful the actors the setting everything but yeah that was it for my short books recommendations obviously i have a lot more books on my shelves but these were like the really 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 super shortest one i could find so yeah but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in one of my next videos bye